don't know what you're talking about. I always go to the head of line, even in the grocery stores. It's a state office, and how dare you work for the state and not even know what the ADA laws are. It does not say go to the end of the line. Maybe in your country it is where you're from. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Welcome back to another channel, guys. To another video, guys. Welcome back. I hate my life. Tell me what's new in your life. Tell me why I can't sit still. That's a question. Why? Why can't I uh, make a phone call without it being an ordeal? I don't know, right? That's what happens when you live with anxiety, okay? Everybody's out to get you. Even the ant crawling around on my floor. He's up to something. You know what they say, right? If you take a shower and then have to poop right afterwards, an angel gets its wings. I mean, that's what I hope happens because nothing good can come from that, you know? Like, you just got clean. Why are we going to dirty up a part of our body? I just got done showering. Why do I need to, you know, serve a freaking hot loaf in the bowl? Who is it for? All right, this is f***ing... What am I doing? So, today's video comes to us from My Name is Karen 2.0. This is not the first My Name is Karen. This is the second iteration, and they're going strong. 10,000 subscribers, 10.5 thousand subscribers. Go subscribe to them. Give them some love. Tell them Maddox sent you. Tell them that Maddox just wants you. Don't tell them anything. Don't tell them I sent. Don't do that. That's weird. They don't know who I am. But give them some love. As always, I always put the link to the original video in the description. So if you don't want to hear me yapping the whole time. So if you could stay with me, that would be great, please. You don't want to watch this video alone. You never want to watch a Karen video alone. That's... I mean, is there anything more true than that statement right there that I just said? The last thing you want is to be watching a Karen video by yourself and filming it. I mean, what could could there be a worse combination of things? I don't know. So anyway, today's video called Karen's Freakout Compilation. All right, so it's a nice compilation of a bunch of Karens. And I just, you know, you know me, right? I love my cringe. I love my Karens, right? love my carrots. I just love when people lose their shit. It's my favorite thing. If it's in real life, it's even better. Like when you get a real life freak out, oh my god, I, pants are already dropped. I think I've diddy daddled a little too much. What did I just say? I just diddy daddled my way out of that. I diddy daddled. I, I need to diddle some daddies. I'm a daddy diddler, okay? I need to be evaluated for something. That's sure. Here we go. This is a public road. This is a public road. This is a public road. Just a boy. I used to say that to my cat. He's just a boy. You're just a little boy. You don't know anything. Oh my god, dude. Obviously, he's just trying to have fun on his dirt bike, and he doesn't need Miss Karen coming out in her freaking flip flops to tell him any different. Get off my street. Oh my god. Get off. Yeah, you because you own the streets. Run it again, and I'm calling. And then the little boy will find out. And get out of my fucking face. Oh shit. Oh. <gasps> Good for him. I love that. Dude, I gotta say, kudos to that kid. That was amazing. F that lady. All right? I'm kidding. She was probably a nice lady. She's just, I, I get it. She's got nothing else to do. You know, I understand when you're in your, you know, she looked like she was probably in her 50s or 60s, right? And she's like, I got nothing else to do. I see this kid riding a dirt bike on the street that I think I own. So I'm going to go out there and I'm going to, I'm going to give him a piece of my, 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 my words. I don't know, man. Like, let kids be kids. If they, if he's on a dirt, let him be on a dirt bike. I mean, if he's causing some trouble with the dirt bike, then maybe we, you know, get in there and, you know, take care of business. Just let kids be kids. Right? You know, I remember when I was young, my friend, he took me into this kennel and I came out naked, you know? So it's like, you know, look how I turned out. Some things you don't need to tell the internet. That's, that's one of them. So that's great that that's what I said. I mean, I was like five years old. I wasn't even, a, I, I couldn't think about anything but shapes. How are you filming? Hi, ma'am. How are you? Good. How are you? Are you filming? Um, who are you first? Who are you first? No, no, no. How, who are you? <laughs> oh, this is weird. I'm sorry. You're in my building. Who are you? I'm in your building. In order to form it, film in this building, you need a permit. That's not true. That's not true. Oh, who who okay. are you? Yeah, really. Who are you? Why do you want to film so people I know who I spoke in... With? 
You work for the Please supervisor's shut office? Please because you're not allowed to film here without a permit. Ma'am, why are you, you becoming so hostile? Yeah, I'll, I'll show Caleb Barnes not this department. How you doing? What's going on with that? Nothing, just, just show me. Up, I know. Okay. He doesn't have a permit. I don't, I don't need a permit. I'm going to ask you to leave. No. Don't touch me. If, you, if you, you are you ordering me to <laughs> leave? I'm ordering you to leave. So but I want that okay. filming, whatever's on his Turn phone, it off. shut off. I don't, want I'm walking out. Turn it off. Uh, this is not against the law. This is a constitutionally protected activity. Okay. Um, I'm not trying to say that he doesn't have a right to do that, but it's like, why you do that? Even if it's, okay, so you, you maybe you don't need a permit, especially if it's a public building, you can film people. People may not know, you can film in public. You can be filmed in public, it's totally legal. Nobody can stop you. I understand defending the rights. Now, we don't, okay, we don't know the backstory. I don't know if maybe there's a reason he went to this, because I know that there's those auditors. I, you know, you see those, um... What are they called when they, uh, what the fuck is it called? Kudos to you to do that because our rights are important in this country. Gotta defend them. But you're kind of being rude to that lady when she's just asking who you are. No, who are you? Okay, listen, dude. Can you just tell them what you're doing? Just say, hey, doing a First Amendment audit. I can film here. It's totally legal. Uh, and now this cop is telling him to turn it off. I'm trying to. You're trying. I'm off the phone. I am trying to walk past you to turn leave. Off the phone. I want to make it clear. I'm trying to walk past you to leave because you're obviously you're to gonna need some complaints. Do his authority. Don't touch my phone. Turn oh, it don't I have a body camera now. on too. Don't touch my phone. Turn what are off. you guys doing? You're this is off. against the law. Give me your license. This is against the law. <laughs> Give me your license. You're, and you're I, I, in a government you can facility. you can ask me Where for my ID and I can decline. Do you have reasonable articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime? This cop was like 25. Okay. Do you have legal articular dissertation that I've committed a crime, sir? I don't know what he said. It was very fast. I, I hate that we couldn't see the ending. I want to know how that... Well, that was just part one. We got to find part two. God damn. I want to know how that ends. It probably just ends with him leaving, honestly. I can't imagine it getting any crazy. I mean, unless he starts like, you know. I, I definitely respect people that do First Amendment audits. I think that it's... I know people have mixed feelings about it. I defend your right to do that but i just wish that you wouldn't be so rude because i feel like when you're rude to people and they don't know what you're doing it, it it creates this tension that doesn't need to be there but then again that might be what they're looking for is tension karen mad because crosswalk Holy is blocked bro it's like a karate kick you can't just do that oh people are freaking out of their mind bro what are you doing you go to the other side. What, are you just going to walk off with your fanny pack like nothing happened? Oh, yeah. That's how you feel inside. That was insane. How do you do that? How do you just... All I got to say is that last shot of her, that shot, it says everything. <laughs> that shot tells you everything you need to know. Who knows what that woman is going through, man? Oh, my God. That's kind of what I guess, you know, I always try to do is look at it from both sides. Like, I look at it from the person that's being assaulted and the person that's doing the assaulted, assaulting. This woman, I can't imagine what she's going through. And I, I always want to be clear because I don't want you guys to think that I'm trying to rationalize her behavior. This behavior is not okay. Never okay. You know, I, I, I don't care if they yelled at you if they you know if they if they told you your baby had a big head you know whatever it is it's no reason to start assaulting somebody or assaulting their property in this case but that ending that tells you everything that woman is just uh broken beyond the repair needs help she needs to get help and uh, for starters get that fanny pack off like who knows what she's carrying in that fanny pack you know that's a that's unknown sir how can i help you Man in I'm wheelchair. disabled. Yes, I'm in a wheelchair. Line. I have a right to go to the head of the line. No, you do not. Yes, I do. That's the law. It is uh, the law. You do not. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And go to the head of the line. To so the head of the line. You call a manager out here. You're not the manager. And we call have manager preference out here. over appointments. No, you do not. Even if I don't have an appointment. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, Mother Mary. I don't understand why you would think just because you have a disability that you would be able to cut people. That, to me, is very bizarre. I don't know what his actual ailment is. Maybe he got both his legs blown off in Vietnam. I don't know. I'm sorry that you're disabled. I'm a little disabled in the brain, but okay. It doesn't mean that you can go to the front of the line. I, I would imagine in his head he's thinking, listen, I don't got no legs, so I deserve to go to the front of the line. I've been through hell and back. I'm going to go to the front of the line. To everybody else, it just looks like, you know, it's like people who, who aren't handicapped but park in handicapped spots, right? This guy would be mad at that, right? If, if, if he was driving his car without his 
If he was being driven somewhere, he wanted to park. Let's say he was going to park and in the only handicap spot, a non-handicapped person. A non-handicapper. Hey guys, me from the future here. I'm on the toilet. Um, I just kind of wanted to clarify uh, that analogy because it didn't really make that much sense. I think what I meant to say was it's as if you are a non-handicapped person and you, the only parking spot available is a handicapped spot. And you don't see any handicapped people around and you think, you know, I'm going to park there. It should be okay. I think that's what I meant. Just wanted to throw this in there just so that analogy made some more sense. So yeah, back to the video. Dude, you can't just because you're in a wheelchair cut people. What do you think this is, Disney World? I don't even think that's how Disney World works. I know they have those express passes and everything, but they don't have those for this place that looks like the DMV. So what if they did have express passes for DMV? You know, you could get in there like mad early before everybody else. Because nobody likes going to the DMV. And what are you going to do? Are you going to assist us or just badger us? As soon as the rest of the people are helped, you're going to be placed in line where you need to be. I suggest you go to your law books and you find out that I'm right. <laughs> you better go to your law books and you to make sure that I'm right. Because I'm right and you're going to find out inside that book. What a freaking jokester. This guy needs a comedy show, that's for sure. You don't know what you're talking about. Tell me what the ADA law is then, if you know what it is. That you have certain types Spaces set aside no, 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 no. When I go to the grocery store, they tell me to go to the head of the line. I always go to the head of the line, even in the grocery store. It's a state office, and how dare you work for the state and not even know what the ADA laws are. He's saying ADA law? I'm going to look this up. I found it right here. The ADA does not require that the person be moved to the front of the line, but staff must provide a chair for him and note where he is in line so he doesn't lose his place. So that is the law. The, it says right here, it's very, very clear, the ADA does not require that the person be moved to the front of the line. So this guy is in the wrong. I think we already knew that, but now I definitely know that because I looked it up. Unlike this guy who thinks he knows the ADA law, I'm not even told you what it was. You did not tell me. To go to the end of the line, she says. It does not say go to the end of the line. It does not say go to the front of the line. It doesn't. Here's the paperwork. Okay. Assist us. As soon as the rest of the Why are you just sitting there taking up time and not assisting us and telling us to go to the end of She's the line. She's doing such a You know that's not even right. Maybe in your country it is where you're from. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We're going to go there. Oh, wow. That's great. Good way to make your father look good in the wheelchair. That's another sign, by the way, that you know that somebody's losing an argument, that somebody's in the wrong, is when they go to race, when they go to looks, when they go to things that have nothing to do with what we're talking about. But that's that's how that's a huge sign that somebody is losing an argument. What are you talking about? You don't know nothing about ADA laws at all, period. Now you don't either. This is, tell me what part of the law book it is. This is a different country. Honestly, I, re, dude, she honestly should have just pulled out her phone and looked it up. Cause then it would have it would have totally annihilated any chance of this guy winning this argument not that he was going to win it but she really should have just whipped out her phone and just looked it up and it would have just annihilated anything the guy had to say because at that point you you show it up on your phone it says right here that you are not permitted to just go to the front of the line just because you're in a wheelchair but you know honestly he probably would have just made an excuse for it oh you know that's not the right handbook you're reading from you know 2013 version i need the 2017 version it's been updated since then and da, 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 da. you know just a guy who just he can never admit that he's wrong just covering more lies on top of more lies so that it seems like he knows what he's talking about we're in america <laughs> yes, america has laws yes, it for has. the disability yes. you're sitting there saying yes you are no you aren't get the cops here yeah, exactly because you caught the front of the line this man just assaulted my son what he took my camera that's assault that's robbery that's theft get my son here thank you we're disabled we're disabled come on that's fine oh everyone's looking at them wait a minute wait a minute hold on this guy right here we're disabled we're disabled come on that's fine are you literally like pointing to people this guy right here this guy he looked at me this guy he's he's recording my bald head this guy Get him. Yeah, I'm gonna wheel on over there. I'll never understand this type of entitlement. You know, it's funny though, on the on, on the other hand, if you can't walk, 
Walking, you take it for granted. We do. Let's be honest. We take walking for granted. Imagine you wake up one day and your legs are gone. Somebody stole them. It's a robbery. We do take it for, I take it for granted that I can walk to the bathroom and take a giant loaf, okay? So I could understand, you know, you're old and you're bald and you can't walk and your son is a dick and you just, you just want to be able to have some upper hand in life. Just something, man. I'm, I'm bald. I'm old. I got no legs. I need to cut the line. I got to get in front of the line. So I could, I could understand I could get, I could, I could get that. Doesn't make it right. Does not make it right at all. But I can have some understanding, you know? The son is just, I think, is he's just a, a whole bunch of testosterone. So he's just, he's just angry in general. And I'm sure his father has put it into his head, all these laws that don't exist, you know? The ADA law says you go to the front of the line. Don't them t- don't let that person tell you you can't do that. It's in the, you know, and then you look in the book and it's not there. So... Moral of the story, just have a phone with you and Google stuff, and this will not happen. It, well, it might still happen, but you're less likely for it to go on as long as it did if you have a phone, and you can look it up on Google, like I did. Karen's complaint about my about parking space. Hello. Hello. Do you realize you're parking in my space? Oh, it's in England. You in your space? This is my space. I live here. How long have you been living here for? I don't know. I don't know, less than a year. Well, then, and do you own your place? No, 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 well, I don't. I, I have lived here for more than 10 years. I own my flat, and this is my parking space. Yeah, but the, yeah, but the space is not reserved, though, are they? But I've been here for 10 years. 10 okay. years I've always parked here. Okay, but that's fine, yeah. 10 years, yeah, but I'm saying, like, you can park right there. You can park right there. Why but can't you park right there the for? this is the space that I yeah, always park Yeah, but it's not reserved, though. It's everyone not reserved. knows that. It's my space. Middle-aged woman here. She's on the, uh the later end of her years and she has a parking spot that she always parks in you know if i was the guy filming i would just give her the parking spot i know a lot of people say hey you know what don't let an old person boss you around especially if they're you know wearing a hat personally i would just give her the spot because that's just me but i understand it's not her spot and maybe this is the day that she learns that well, then you can move over there well, well, why do i need to move over there for you can move there Oh, there goes the hat. See what happened here? That's what you get when you be rude, you know what I mean? Bro! I'm not being rude. God, will slap that hat right off you. I've been in the same space all that time. And I don't see why you, who's just been living here in a rented apartment for one okay, year. Okay, if it's rented or owned yet, it's none of your business. Ten you know, years. These spaces have people's names on it. She's acting like it's a relationship. I've been parking here ten years. I gotta park here. Wait, it's been ten years. You're just gonna... It's just, just like that after 10 years? I, I what? I don't have your name on it. You can just park no, anywhere. I've always parked here. Don't have your name I've on it. I've always parked here for the last 10 years. But you can park somewhere else. There's here. parking there. There's parking there. This parking is not reserved, like I've said. Well, then why don't you park over there? Because I've, I've, I was here first. Move over there. I can park in my space. But you can just park there. I want to park in this space. I've used it for 10 years. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I've parked my car, yeah? The car has turned off now, yeah? This is so crazy. I'm going my car with my friend, yeah? And then go back upstairs to my apartment. It's the one I've always parked in, and I'd like if to park in If you want this space, yeah? That's great for you. Come here another time. I might not be here. I might park there. But it's a fact that I'm parked here now, yeah? I said my bit. The thing is, if you ask me nicely, if you ask me nicely, yeah? I've been here for 10 years. If you ask me nicely, that's fine. 10 years. She keeps bringing that up. And you're... Like, as if, as if... <laughs> like that, Matt, like what? I've been parking here for 10 years, so I need to park here. I just, it's it's been 10 years, and I have to keep parking here, because if I don't park here, it's been 10 years. Because we ain't moving. We've parked here now, the engine's off, You're we're so about rude. to get out. You're so and then rude. you come over anyway. and start whinging. Like, at the end of the day, you just park somewhere else, and everyone be happy. I'm I'd like you to move. You just feel so entitled because word. you've been here for 10 years. Oh, I think she gave up. 10 years. I'm so entitled. Ten, 10 years have been parked here. 10 years. See, I would I would feel bad. I, I, that's just me. I would feel bad having her walk away like that. I, I don't know why. 
you know, because she wasn't really rude. I mean, she was she she didn't swear. She did insult a little bit. That was kind of not nice, but like you know that it's going to bring her way more joy having that parking spot than you having it. And it's one of those things where it's like, "Hey, just they're going to get way more joy out of this than you are." So just just give it to them. But I get I get it. The guy stood his ground. He his nipples were very hard that day. Okay. Rude flight passenger gets karma. What do they get sucked out the window? Oh, I see. The person behind is trying to keep the window shut and they want it. Oh, what are they doing? What are they? Why are they grabbing their hair? Oh. Oh, no. You're not about to do what I. Oh, God. Bro. Oh, my God. And this person has no idea. <laughs> is it? She's. Oh, she's. She's realizing. That is funny, bro. That's pretty cool. I got mad respect. <gasps> and it, the big reveal! That is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Oh my God. And I've seen one guy, one jar. That was an amazing reveal. Oh my God. Can we watch that again? One more time. Oh my God. It's the most replayed part of the video. Of course it is. It's just so beautiful. She realizes, oh my God, I got all this sharpie in my hair. Oh. What am I going to do? I'll just take the damn thing off. Yeah, and to be putting your hand, shutting the... What are you doing? Let them... And it's, it's obviously clear that was a child, or at least a young kid, so they want the window open. Let them... Whatever. People are weird. Thanks, guys, for checking out the video. Thanks for uh, sticking around to the end. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks for enjoying the Karen cringe with me. I really enjoyed that. We'll see you guys in the next one. That's it.